Welcome back to my attack series, guys. Uh, this one will be for Oregon, the kids' dorms, uh, second floor of Oregon. We're going to start out with Capital first. We're definitely going to put the Claymores at the windows for the runouts because, as you all know, everybody likes to run out and kill people on this balcony. Um, so that's the first thing Capital is going to do. Uh, next, we're going to get the OSA set up uh, before we take the window. Um, this is so that we can shoot somebody right behind the bed uh, if there ends up somebody being there. Um, and I do this one over here for a second attacker to be able to look where we're going to plant the bomb. Um, if somebody has run out, we also have extra claymores here with Osa and we're going to, you know, replace the, the claymore uh, once there has already been one run out um, to just to protect against the second. So you can see this gives you a little angle into the back of the bed. Um, in case somebody comes in there, you can pop up. you got to find somebody that's pretty good with OSA. Um, and the last thing you want to do here uh, is make sure that with OSA and Capital, they should be placing their drones inside the site. Uh, this is just an idea of, of one spot that you can get into because um, we're going to plant the bomb right there in the corner of the window. Uh, next, Fuse. I'm going to use Fuse to clear out anything that's there, whether it's bear traps, whether it's lesions, it doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to clear it out here. Uh, he's going to bring a, a soft breach to be able to do the wall. I'm also going to have Capital bring the uh, the other little uh, sidearm piece um, in case the wall's muted. We're going to take Gridlock with, uh, with, with nades. Um, some of you may or may not know this uh, little nade site. If somebody's behind the... Uh, the bed already. Um, I always like to look and see if anybody's like lur lurking around after I shoot that window. But I'm going to try to get a nade right here. So I'm going to cook the nade uh, after I've kind of broken out a little bit of the window. I keep most of the windows so that, you know, I'm kind of protected. Um, but a lot of times you just get a pick right here. Um, it, even if you're uh, solo queuing, you can get a pick. Then I'm going to move gridlock up to the top. So all the rest of the setup should be done at this point. Uh, Capital should be ready on top over here on the on the top of uh, of little stack or little tower. And as we get ready to plant, all the smokes will go down. So you'll see Capital smokes will will if the wall is open there a little bit, you're gonna you're gonna put a, a smoke here and try to get one on the wall to be able to you know prevent them from seeing what's really going on. And then the ying is really the most important part of this. They're gonna smoke. Um, by this time, you should already have capital smoke, so you should be able to kind of move a little freely there. And then, as the plant's going down, you're just throwing yings in there. Whatever you think is the best place. Um, and, and the gridlock or montane uh, could be in there right now doing the plant. Once the plant is down, uh, it's best to just get back up here on Little Tower, and you can defend it from, from up here um, pretty safely. So gridlock, we'll throw some gridlocks back over there. Um, just imagine the smoke kind of being here. Uh, we'll, we'll get in. We use the gridlocks to kind of cover the sound of the plant also. Um, so it, it's it's handy. Uh, when those are going down, it kind of creates confusion. Um, the gridlock may or may not survive the plant, but hopefully they do. If they don't and don't get the plant down, then you can do the... the, the uh, one of the other you know operators can just go grab the, grab the diffuser and get the plant down. Here's the Montane. If you use the Montane, it also has smokes and you can turn around and the shield can kind of protect you in case somebody is is firing bullets that way. Um, but the idea is that they're going to be blind and they're not really going to know. Um, I play the Montane and I just use it for information at this point um, to protect the bomb. I wouldn't even shoot. I would let all the other shoot players shoot and, until, you know, it really comes down to you need to. The fuse, after they clear the main stuff, you know, you can go over to kids' dorms, window, um, maybe cause some havoc over there. They could they could honestly go roam and, and attack the site from somewhere else because you're going to have two other people up here. But if somebody else has died, then you bring them back to, to T1 over here and, and basically, uh, you know, just protect. So at some point, the bomb's down. You can use the fire here. Fire lasts about 10 seconds. So that buys you 20 seconds. You really only have to survive that long. And you can throw the fire there and they can't defuse. Or if they try to defuse, they die. Um, it's really why we take the Capital. So I appreciate you guys. Uh, like and subscribe. Give me a comment. Let me know how we could do better. Thanks.